Hey everybody, welcome back to 12 Days of Christmas. We are on day four, just cruising through these fun little projects. And today's project is this cutesy tootsy little spring or um, snap wallet or snap pouch. I like to use mine for headphones. Um, it's wide enough where you could use this as a business card holder if you don't like the, the business card holder that we made yesterday. Um, you could also use it for gift cards for the holiday coming up, but these are just great little catch-alls and yeah, I'm sure that you will find several uses for them. This pattern does use hardware. So if you have never used spring snaps before, I will go over how to do that in the video, but I will be using my hand press, this guy. If you do not have a hand press, don't fret. There are ways that you can set snaps by hand but I will not be showing you that in this video. Um, and a note about my press, I will link mine below. I will link the die set and I will link the snaps. I got two sets of snaps. I got antique brass and then I also have them in stainless. Um, so I'll link everything that I have below, but a note on that is I got mine from Gold Star. I know that Gold Star has, uh, you know, some people love them, some people hate them. I personally have not had any issues with Gold Star. So I'm just gonna link to you what I have, but I do know that there are several other places that you can get hand presses. And if you don't have one, game changer. I don't know what took me so long. I waited years before I got a hand press to set rivets. And literally this is probably the best, besides my sewing machine, this is the best investment that I've made in Sonar since day one. So if you do not have a hand press, you know, do yourself a favor and get one. I use mine for the rivets, I use it for spring snaps. Um, there are a million different die sets that come with the, or that, that you can purchase after buying the press. So yeah, if you're doing a lot of hand setting of things like that, definitely consider stepping up your game with the press. There's probably going to be some sales too with the holidays. So, you know, something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, I hope that you enjoy the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this little video. Bye guys, or not bye, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so to make this snap pouch, we are going to be setting a snap that is indicative by the title, but I just want to reiterate here, you will need some hardware. Um, I will be using my press, as you see here. I also have a die set. There are hand setting tools for snaps, so you can certainly use that. And you can even use a magnetic snap, but you want to make sure that you're going to use a magnetic snap that has a nice dome back, back piece, backside, because you don't want the prongs showing on the front of your project. So if you're going to be using something besides spring snaps, I would suggest, or it's a requirement really, that whatever is going to be on the outside of the flap look nice. So that's something to consider. So I have my pieces cut out here. You see I have the inside flap accent and then I have one main panel. Now you can certainly just cut two main panels if you want it to be nice and structured. I have a little pouch that I made several years ago. This one I did two layers of cork on so it is nice and structured, it's thick. I use this to hold my, um, what do you call those things? They're not AirPods, they have the cord, so earbuds. Um, I have not come to 2022 and gotten AirPods. I like old fashioned plug in earphones. So I carry them in this little pouch. You can see I did a little bit of applique on mine and then I did some crazy, oh goodness. I did some crazy stitches here to quilt my two corks together. In this project, I'm only gonna be doing one layer of cork. And you see this one is bigger than my um, headphone pouch. This one I formulated to, or formatted to fit cards in. So if somebody you know doesn't like the traditional uh, business card wallet or the slim wallet, this is another alternate for business cards, credit cards, gift cards, you know, the whole, all the cards. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to poke holes I'm gonna punch holes in my pattern here so that I can mark on my cork. Um, just a note, if you're using thicker leather or leather you know, that's stiff, I would not suggest using two layers. But if you're using like vinyls or corks, you could easily get away with doing two layers. 
Okay, so I'm just marking my snaps. And the first one I'm gonna do is this one here that will be on the bottom of the snap. So I need to get these two, or this snap set. Now, I'm not entirely sure the names of these pieces. I just have on my die set, I have a number three and a number four. And then I also put number three and four on my bag of hardware. So then I know that those are the coordinating dies. But you can see, so for three, it has this little inset area. And that's where this little piece goes. So it's a male piece and you put it male side down, it snaps right into the die set there. And this die, you know what it is because it has this little spring around it. And then this one, it has this long prong piece, and this is what's gonna go inside of the little male piece here. They're gonna fit together like that. But so this piece of the uh, spring snap set just rests right on top. It's like a little tiny hat, like an upside down hat or something. I don't know, it reminds me of like a hat that a mouse in a cartoon would wear, like a little tomato hat. I have no idea where that reference is coming from, but it's just what it makes me think of. Okay, so I screwed in the top die set and then you just set the bottom one in. Oops, I'm pulling everything apart. All my pieces came off, so I just have to re put them back in to the dies. Okay, so now the die set, the press is ready to go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch this hole where I made the mark. And so now I know that that is where my die, my uh, spring snap is gonna go. Now what I like to do on the inside of my spring snaps is I like to add one extra layer of cork just to give it something else to grasp onto so that it's not just one thin layer. And so what I'll do is I'll take just a scrap piece of cork and just cut out a little circle. Now in the template that I provided, there is a circle that you can trace there, but I don't really, I don't mind if it's a little off. But so I just cut that out out of a scrap. I'm gonna punch a hole right in the center of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the bottom piece of the spring snap onto the cork like so, and then I'm gonna slide that again through this other cork. And so the little washer piece is on the back side, on the wrong side of the cork. And this is what it should look like. And then you're just gonna lay it on the die set and clamp down. And then easy as that, that section of the snap is set. Okay, so next what I need to do is I'm gonna glue this accent piece down. But first, I'm going to punch this little hole so that I can see it after I glue this piece down. Also, if you want to, you can use um, double stick tape here. I kind of like to use glue on this stuff because I can spread the glue all around and I know that the entire piece is going to be adhered. Whereas if you're just using tape, you know, only where the tape is, is going to actually be stuck together. Okay, so that's what it looks like once you glue it. You're gluing those wrong sides together. I'm gonna transfer that hole to that second piece there. And we can actually set this after we sew it. We do not need to do that one right now because if we set it right now, it's gonna be hard to sew around it. So we'll just do that one after we sew everything together. So now what you do is you can transfer that line or you can just kind of eyeball it. And that's where you're gonna fold up. So you can see, that's where I fold it up to on my pouch. And there's this little sliver of one layer of cork. And that's what we want, because what that's gonna do is allow it to open and close nicely. And if you get a significant amount of cards in there, it's gonna give it a little bit of room to have some depth here. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip it. And then the only sewing that we have to do, we're gonna start, I'm gonna sew it like this at my machine, but I'm gonna start here. And then when I get to this juncture, I'm gonna backstitch really well to make sure that the stress point has some security. I'm gonna sew up and around and back down. So an eighth of an inch. 
go up and around. Okay, got her all sewed up and you can see um, it shifted a little bit when I was sewing. So I'm just gonna trim up all of my edges here. And I'm trimming them to, I don't know. I overshot it a little bit when I was sewing. I always try to sew about an eighth of an inch, but I think I do maybe three sixteenths of an inch. And then when I'm able to trim down to an eighth. Oh wait. Is eight? No, three sixteenths is bigger. But yeah, so I'm just trimming down all of my edges here. And then we just need to install the other side of the spring snap. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab the flat piece. So this is the nice piece that's gonna show on the outside. And I'm gonna grab that. And so from the outside, I'm gonna put it in like so. And then you take this little guy. This is the one that has, has like the writing on it. It's like the button side. And that doesn't really go there, but I'm just going to put it there for now because we need to change out our die set. And so you can see this one is flat and that's where this guy is going to fit. It fits in perfectly. And then this guy here has this portion that sticks out. And what you do is you take this little button part and it goes face down and you can hear it snaps right into place there. And so now I need to put this die set into place and then I can set the other side of the spring snap. I love using these little spring snaps on stuff now that I have them. When Before I got them, I was so confused by the dies but I got, this is a Gold Star press. And so I just went back to Gold Star and I got the spring snaps with the die. So I just got all the same size that coordinates together. And that's how I was able to navigate that. Okay, so now I have this piece in here. My other portion of it is snapped into the top part of the die set. So I'm just gonna lay this with this side down. You can feel it when it sets in and then carefully set it and then there is that side and then there you go so let's try it out what happened to my cards oh, here's one so here is a card Ta-da! see so it fits well and then there's plenty of space to add several more and there you go one little snap you could easily add a little like a mini D ring here. And then somebody can, um, they can like clip it to their keys or have it, you know, as a little tiny wristlet. This is perfect for the person who doesn't carry a lot. Friends, day four, we're done. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.